Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I wanted to give you a nature inspired spring table setting idea. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Today I am feeling super springy so I wanted to show you my spring table setting. This could be just any spring event or we could also Easter it up a little bit so it's appropriate for an Easter Sunday dinner. Uh, I like nature inspired things, so lots of branches, I like using faux succulents and plants, so I'm going to show you how to incorporate those into your own table setting this year. And this is inexpensive, this is simple, and this is really easy to do. So let's get started. For this table setting idea, we're going to start with an aqua striped placemat as a base. I think this is really light and springy and could work for Easter or any spring decor. I'm adding my simple white corral plate. So this is the dinner sized plate and then layering on the dessert sized plate after. Next I'm taking a homemade pom pom trimmed napkin to add a little bit of texture. And then I filled a really cute little ice cream bowl with some faux straw and put that in the center. Next I'm popping in a faux succulent into the middle of the dessert bowl. You could also switch this out for a faux Easter egg to make this table setting look a lot more Eastery. Next, just some simple silver cutlery on either side of the plate. And to finish the look off, I'm adding a teal ombre glass. I think this setting is really fresh and springy and I love that it has nature inspired elements. It's a really light and simple table set setting that would work for Easter or any spring to get together and it's not very expensive to put together. The Corel plates and the placemats also make it really family friendly. And I think it looks festive and a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching my spring table setting idea video. I hope you found some inspiration and some ideas to make your own spring table setting fun and easy and beautiful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you pop in next week to see my next video. See you later. For more tutorials, please visit the DIYMommy.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.